first week was it was hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Um, but uh, you know, I was quite uh, nervous. To begin with, we we sit down, we all read the script together as with the director and the cast, and it's an extremely funny piece of writing. Louis Nara has done so well to keep the heart of of an institution like this and, and find the comedy. It's just so funny. It's so funny that you have to take a moment to get the laugh out. So I'm playing Lewis, who has recently graduated from university, like a Bachelor of Arts or something like that in Melbourne. And this is my first gig, my first job out of university, which is directing uh, mental patients in an opera. I play the role of Cherry. She's a fun person. I think she means everything she says. She has um, quite some violent reactions to things. And I think she just is a, she's quite intense. I think she just feels everything a lot. I'm playing Doug, and uh, Doug's the resident pyro. He's a pyromaniac, so he likes to uh, set fire to things. And uh, he's also quite possibly a psychopath. I'd hope on a, a psychological basis that it was it was very, very difficult for me to relate to him, so... <laughs> I'm playing two parts. I'm playing Julie and Lucy. Um, so Julie is a detoxing um, heroin addict. And there's Lucy, who is a radical um, anti-Vietnam. Lucy is very headstrong. Focused. Henry um, has anxiety issues. Um, he's a stutterer uh, and he really doesn't like to look people in the eye. I think confrontation is a really big no-no for him. My character Ruth is uh, a character with an obsessive compulsive disorder and from what I've worked out I think she uh, counts a lot and she doesn't like being touched. So I play uh, Nick which is Lewis's best friend. I play Justin, who, is, who runs the asylum and in, initiated the project. And I play Zach, who is the, one of the patients who plays the piano in the piano accordion. To be in the room with, with Trevor and Jennifer is a really, it's a big thing for both Jessica and I. We love them and we're just, we're really blessed to be working with them, you know. It's good fun um, working. And, and you have to be quite precise about this, so I'm enjoying going over things and um, finding the very best rhythms and finding the very best uh, way to get the most out of this play, the comedy. It's just so rewarding and very funny. And we're, finding, we're each finding our inner lunatic. Um, everyone's got different complications, of course, but me being manic suits my character very well. I've not worked with David before. I am um... I've, I've seen many of his productions and been a great fan of his, but uh, yeah, he's been, so far he's just been really helpful, very detailed, very intelligent, has a great knowledge of the opera of Cosy itself as well. David always runs a very um, uh, easy going and rigorous um, rehearsal room. I just remember that from many years ago too, so that's uh, terrific. He's a very intelligent man. and. I think it's really beneficial that he's directed the opera for Opera Queensland as well. And I think he's already got a big plan because it's uh, it's been very clear from the the outset, which is great. You know, it allows us actors then latitude to think about other things. He's very thorough. He's very detailed. He's very smart. So um, it's uh, it's really been great. It's a very intellectual and thoughtful director. He's really smart. He's really smart. I love all the Mozart's operas, they're fabulous, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I'll learn my lines. <laughs> Hopefully everyone gets a line to my on. Break away!